1440 KVON 99.3 The Vine. This is Kelly and it's time for Healthy Communities with St. Helena Hospital. And with me this morning, I have Dr. Cheryl Peters. Uh, she has a doctorate in clinical nutrition and she's a registered dietitian. And I have Jim Peters, physician, board certified preventive medicine with us. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Great to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you. I was really intrigued when I, when I recorded the commercial for this segment um, to hear about lifestyle medicine. I have to be honest that I've not heard that term before. Is that a term that, that you've created to describe what you do, or is that something that, that's been around for a while and I just didn't know about it? It's been around, but it's growing. Because it, has to, it looks at how people live and habits of living that can help uh-huh. make you healthier and prevent disease. Oh, well, that makes sense. That makes total sense. So it's your whole lifestyle. Okay, so, so break it down for us. You know, what is lifestyle medicine um, specifically? We need to get to the, the so when, nitty-gritty. When we think of that, it's just incorporating, in addition to the risk factors that we see from laboratory and diagnostic testing and clinical judgment, we also incorporate um, habits. What are your lifestyle habits? What are oh. your um, genetic you, risk factors, um, environmental risk, things right. like that. exercise, do you get enough sleep? Right. Do you drink so enough water? Do you eat enough fruits and vegetables? These are habits that right. are associated with decreasing your risk for the most cr- common chronic diseases. So I it's really see. quite exciting is that when you look at the evidence-based research on population-based uh, studies where you're following tens of thousands of people for a decade or more, you find those that do five or more simple risk um, or, or health habits, right. uh, they can they can benefit by about ten more years of life. Wow! It's quite dramatic, and it's very simple things: exercise, sleep, breathe fresh air rather than smoke, <laughs> and you know maintain normal weight. Those types of very simple things. Well, it have sounds a very simple. Powerful benefit. So why is it so hard? <laughs> so hard to do. It's really tough to change lifestyle when we think about nutrition as well. These are some of the things yeah. that our families did generation after right. generation and these things um, it's it's really about who we really are so sometimes it's a very threatening difficult thing to change for instance food is comfort right and oh, so right. we talk about a lot that a lot in our program that um, that food can be comfort so we have to really show that making these changes um, there's a really positive you're going to feel better and right. so what's neat in our 10-day program is that we have the opportunity to show people people. Um, it's like an intensive laboratory experiment, but it's like, what's your meal hangover? How do you feel now when you had this meal? And really oh. sort of helping people think about how they feel when they're drinking more water. They're seeing the energy. So they get to experience these differences and it becomes their own testimony, their own story. Right. And our goal is that that will help them make these changes for yeah, a lifetime. Tell us about that 10 day program. Is this something where they just go to a workshop every day? I mean, what is that? It's a 10-day residential program, so they stay right there with us. Living there. Yes. Um, Wow. 10-day program, and they just come in, and these are people that have just been diagnosed with diabetes or they want to prevent. They know they have um, a family history of cardiovascular disease, and they don't want to follow that same course. Or they just want to lose some weight. And so it's, it's people that really are proactive, and they want to use less medication. They want to be able to to become healthy in a more natural way, using lifestyle as medicine, using nutrition as medicine. And we integrate a strong medical component. We have, I do a complete history physical with them. We also have uh, comprehensive laboratory values. We look at everything from thyroid to hormones to vitamin D to, you know, cholesterol levels and inflammatory markers and so on. And we do an exercise stress test. So we conceive their fitness level, but then we use that to, uh, customize an exercise program for them so we can take them where they're at and move them forward and then we have wow. a lot of education we have our own chefs we have uh, lecture times with with our clients and uh, all Fitness together training it's, it's a it's a very customized program that moves them from where they are to where they want to be wow and so you're setting up n- new habits for them exactly. better habits so they're yeah. they're taking 10 days they just leave their environment, and they're very wow. serious about making this change. Um, and we do this on an outpatient basis, but the difference is it takes several years to really grasp it and get it. Wow. Here we give them an opportunity to actually try it, try it on, and they see that it works, and um, and it's exciting. And then we stay with them for 12 months. We talk to them on a monthly basis for 12 oh, months for long-term right? success. And, <clears throat> and I think what's what's 
that's so helpful in the success of the program mm -hmm. is we focus on what to do more of, not simply what to stop. Right. You know, because it's yeah. you're much more successful if you have a goal and that's where you're moving forward as opposed to oh, I can't eat this, I can't do yeah. that, I shouldn't do this. Right. That's not the focus. The focus is do more of this to feel better. And you can go as far as you want with it. But we'll accept you wherever you're at. Even right. if you make one change forward, we're happy with that because there's benefits to that one change. And it's nice because you're under a doctor's care, so... Right. Right. Everything's being monitored. So often you have to separate traditional medicine from, say, more of a complementary medicine approach. And I think that's what lifestyle medicine does, is it incorporates um, traditional care, using the best of medicine to keep you safe, but let's try to reduce it or right. eliminate it altogether right. if lifestyle can do that. So we go as far as the person's willing to go and making sure that they're safe as well. What and sort of uh, stories do you have? Sure, there's, of course, you can't name names or anything like that, but, um, you know, what, what types of uh, problems have people come to you with, and then when they left and you followed them, well, just their <coughs> success, you know? I think just one example, just um, last month, we had a diabetic patient coming in. They were on th uh, three different oral medications, and they were on 90 units of insulin. By day five on our program, we had to stop all the insulin because their blood sugars were going too low. And they left the program with one diabetic medicine by mouth. That was it. And their blood sugars were very good. In and ten, 10 days? Yeah. Because that, that weeks, was my next question. Yeah. Who can see a difference in 10 days? And two months later, talking to him, he's still off all of his medications except for that one diabetic <gasps> medicine and doing extremely well. His blood sugars are staying good. And so this is what's exciting to see the yeah. power of lifestyle change and yeah. what it can do to minimize a lot of the need for medications. And what about um, weight loss? Huh. I mean, that's, that, that can be so tough. It, is that something that can you can you affect that change in that short amount of time? Absolutely. Um, we also focus on um, body composition. So mm. getting um, your body to a healthy place with building muscle and decreasing fat. So right. they see body fat drop, not just weight. And so we we good point. <clears throat> we analyze that yeah. at the beginning. And what's so what's so much fun to see is that people can lose. You know, the more weight you have to lose, the easier it is to lose the first so many pounds. So, right. you know, everybody's going to be different. Right. But what we find is an average of anywhere from two to five pounds of body fat lost in that 10 days. And on my exit or my discharge from the program as I'm going over with patients, what's so exciting is like, well, how hungry have you been? They said, I have never eaten so much food. I can't eat all the food you're having me That's eat. That's key. Because it's right? whole plant so food, high volume, high nutrition, but low calories. They're eating more and weighing less. Because if you're and hungry all the time, you can't. It's, it's not fun. You're not even going to function. Yeah. So this, <laughs> you know, the, the, that's, that's the whole challenge is to have the take 10 menus um, be very satisfying. Mm -hmm. um, and our goal is that they can last four hours. And when it's time after for the next me meal, after, each, after meal. each meal, and when it's time for that next meal, we want them to be, eat. it's it's time to eat, but they're not even hmm. remembering it possibly. Yeah. They're not even wow. hungry and at even four hours. That's the goal. And so what we say is, okay, so if this meal didn't take you four hours, let's talk about what was that meal, even if it's one of our meals. And we go back and say, okay, tomorrow, let's add five nuts. So we really bring it right down to what does it take to get you four hours? Right. Then you're not snacking. Then you're actually satisfied. And then also, how do we get it so that after that meal, that meal hangover, we want to make sure that after a meal you feel energy. You feel good. You feel energized. Yeah. You want to move. And so then the goal is we focus on an oxygen cocktail. And that's after each meal. It's a walk. What's it's a that? Ten, breathing oh. fresh air. <laughs> 10 to 15 yeah. minutes outdoor in the fresh air, oh. breathing deeply and moving. And that's and pleasant. But it yeah, helps, so pleasant. It helps after. decrease the blood sugar spike after meals. It's a key Exercise in the weight loss. Put sugar it's the timing. Away quicker. You know, I didn't even know that. Wow. So a lot of times people go to the gym at the end of a day, but they've been sitting all day in a sedentary job and they've been, mm -hmm. and they get home and so they'll exercise three to five times a week and they're right. working out really hard and they're wondering why they're not seeing the numbers. Yes, they're keeping their muscle tone, right. but they're not really dropping weight. 
But we're finding that these oxygen cocktails, in addition to interval training, resistance training, in addition to those things, it's not your workout. It's just the timing of helping your body digest that meal. It helps with digestion and it helps lower the blood sugar spikes, lowers the insulin levels. Just by taking a walk. And just by taking a walk yeah. after the meals, the timing of the walk. So and after we're not talking every vigorous exercise, no, we're just talking taking a walk. a walk and stretching. And so we do that after every meal is a 10 to 15 minute oxygen cocktail. And that's how we call it an oxygen cocktail. It's ideally be outside. I and love this that. is I'm how we that. this is how we use exercise to be your insulin. This is how we can reduce the insulin. We teach people with diabetes, you can lower your blood sugar by moving. And so wow. they get very excited to know here's in five minutes, you can drop your blood sugar this much at this intensity. In 10 minutes, you can do it. So they learn what their body does. Now, someone sitting next to them, they right. can have a little lower intensity and achieve the same goal. But they all learn that they're all a little bit different, but they get to refine what their goals are. And what's also exciting with that is the <clears throat> we try to make the foods craveable. In other words, good foods craving. That's Usually important we think too. Of, you know, <laughs> I love this food, but it's not good for me. What we like to make is, you know, and cravings are not bad for you. It, cravings are kind of neutral. Craving things that are good we for you. We want you to crave <laughs> the next meal because it was healthy, because it was also very, very good. Yes. Right. Well, tell us more about um, how to find you, how to get in this program. Is it something that maybe he some health insurances will cover? or The health insurances cover the medical assessment component, the medical evaluation. Mm -hmm. So we bill your insurance for that component. And, and that's then the there's, majority of the cost. Which is the, the majority program. of the cost. And then we have a program fee for the non-billable services like the lodging and the food mm -hmm. and some of the classes because we have like six hours of culinary art training teaching you how to wow. cook and things like that. Those kinds of things are not covered. Um, so we have the program fee um, and then the insurance covering the majority. And it's um, St. Helena Center for Health dot org is our website. Um, we also have a Facebook and um, oh, that's Santa nice. Lena Center for Health. You can come and um, befriend us on Facebook, and we have different articles and things that we have there, and you can get connected that way. And then we have, of course, our client services at um, 855 Take 10. Take 10. Um, oh, that's great. And that's where you can 10. call us, 855-TAKE-10. Um, but we're right up at the hospital, and we have um, the residential rooms with vineyard views and beautiful facility. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Um, Just a really beautiful. the valley. I mean, what a beautiful place to come yeah. to be healthy is Napa Valley. That's and wonderful. And what's nice in the whole name of Take 10, it's give us 10 days. We'll give you 10 healthy habits that can translate into 10 more years of life. That is wonderful. Healthy years. Well, thank you so much for being here this morning. And Ducha, I'm going to like you on Facebook. I'm so doing okay. that. Right. <laughs> I want thank those you. articles. Yeah. Uh, this is Drs. Cheryl Peters and Jim Peters. And uh, check them out. This is your Healthy Communities from St. Helena Hospital. And it's 856. <laughs> Oakland Raiders football all season on both KBOM 1440 AM and KB 